Hi guys, it's Becca, and I'm just checking in on my 26-week pregnancy blog, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit that's updated this week and a little bit that's different, and um, I think I'll just start off with my pregnancy shot. This is my belly, and as you can see, I have already popped. And you can see me. Look at that, 26 weeks, you guys, can you believe it? Jeans I'm wearing are size 12, so I'm not really, I mean, I think I'm on a bad angle. And the camera puts on a couple pounds, but I feel like a blob. Like, last time I was pregnant, three years ago, with my last child, I, like, didn't pop out until the seventh month. So for me to feel so big so early is very overwhelming. But I'm okay with my weight gain because I'll just, I work out a lot, and I worked out a lot before and was running, like, five miles a couple times a week, so I know that I'll drop the sizes down again. I'm not really worried about that, but I am getting uncomfortable, and it is getting harder and harder to breathe. But, um, question of the week that I've decided to answer on this blog is, am I farty? I'm very, very, very gassy, but it comes in the form of, like, burp. Like, I'm burping all the time. I feel like I always need to take Tums. And Tums does seem to help, so I'm taking it for the gassiness. See? Burped. Thank goodness I'm a silent burper. Um, but uh, it seems to help heartburn, and it also seems to help with the burping. So last week when I was like, oh, this is my Tums. I take it all the time. And the bottle was almost full. There's like three left in there. So I have to run up to Target tonight and pick up that. And then because we're transitioning between Christmas and New Year's, I'll just tell you a couple of things. First of all, we have an extra day off this week. So we are painting the baby's nursery on Friday, hopefully. And we do need to clear it out because our toddler is in there right now. So she'll be sleeping with us this week. And, um, Tonight we're going to go pick out the nursery colors, and we're doing it tonight because we might not decide tonight, and it might take another day or two before we can go back and actually pick up the colors. But we're thinking like a brown because we want to do kind of a jungle theme, and we already bought the um, the quilts and everything for the baby's top bed. And then um, I haven't picked out my daughter's room yet, or my daughter's bed yet, but I think she'll just have like a maroon quilt and then maybe some stuffed animal um, pillows. And then we'll probably do some monkeys on the wall. And then above her toddler bed, I want to have no more ju monkeys jumping on the bed. Because that's like her favorite book right now. And it's appropriate. Look at the end. So gassy. Um, husband came home from um, Belgium and brought me some chocolate. And this is how many I've eaten in a week. But we were gone for four days too. But he's been home for um, not even a week yet. Look, it's, it's like a couple chocolates a day. And this one was disgusting. It was like this weird grossness one. So I didn't. I took a bite and that was it. This one's espresso. And speaking of espresso, I um, got my espresso machine for Christmas. And um, I make... Colton loves caffeine. He does. Like, I mean, if I was so nauseous last time. I didn't even have like any coffee or anything. And this time I'm like... Oh, is like need it, need it to survive, and it partially probably has something to do with maybe already having a toddler too. So it's just um, I need that extra boost, but I only need a little bit. So I also have decaf espresso too. So I am not full fledged espresso all day, but I'm getting better, and my coffee with this morning was pretty good. Um, and Colton got this for Christmas because Christmas was just a couple days ago. Oops. Where am I going? So it just says little sprout on the front of it. And on the back is Colton 2010. Grandma gave him that. Um, she's been giving, um, I have a 10 year old, almost a 10 year old, and she's gotten um, an ornament every year. And my little one now has two, my two and a half year old. So kind of like her tradition, and it was very unexpected. So it was kind of cute to have a little gift for him. We didn't buy anything for him this year, um, obviously, because we've been buying things anyway. But, um, the kids loved Christmas. It was very overwhelming because we were at my family's house and it was so fun, but we're so exhausted because the kids were sick. They're always sick on the holiday. Um, so that made for a challenge because they were a little crabbier 
the little one was a little crabbier than normal, so we felt like we were doing a lot of doting on her. Um, hmm. Took the glycerin test uh, to find out about diabetes, and that came back totally normal. Problem was is that I had to take it at 7 in the morning, and I knew that was going to be an icky deal, and it was. Don't do that to yourself. Um, so I didn't really eat anything for breakfast and but it was so early. And then I rushed over there and took the test. And then, um, yeah, we got to see the baby again. I'm going to this new doctor, and she has an ultrasound sonogram machine in her room. So every week, instead of using, like, a dauber to find the baby's heartbeat on the stomach, she uses the ultrasound, and she made comments about how, like, low he was. She goes, yeah. Out of all the people I've had as patients, and she has lots of them, she goes, yours is definitely among the lowest. And I'm like, oh, that's nice to know. So she said, um, she's very, like, to the point, and I really like that with the doctor because I've been there, done that, and I have, like, pregnancy blogs I, I watch and other things and um, blogs and stuff. So, well, I don't really need to ask her a lot of questions. It was kind of fun to hear, like, what she thought was important for me to know. And um, she's like, oh, well... Be prepared because you're probably already in the bathroom all the time, but it's going to be like more and more and more. And I'm like, well, yeah, I know that. I was pregnant before. And she goes, no, with this baby being solo, you're going to be like having a lot of problems. I think she jinxed me because twice this week, totally peed my pants. Not a lot of pee, but a little pee when I sneeze. And my sneezes have always come on very unexpectedly. Like I'll just be sitting here and go, oh, what you? Do you know how dangerous that is? Oh my God. So. Um, I think she jinxed me, because now he's, like, just, he feels like he's a heavy little log when he's sleeping. And then when he's kicking, um, it just feels kind of like a worm. And she also made a comment that he was only about this far from the outside of my belly. Like, he's not very deep in there. So, it was kind of fun, because we were sitting there. And you can watch the baby kick, and you can see your stomach at the same time. So, we kind of laughed, because he was kicking, you know, her daughter thing to do the ultrasound with. Um, and it was so cool to see, like, there's only, like, that much. And she said that's pretty uncommon, too, to have, like, such a thin, like, to have them so far forward. Because all of my placent, like, all of the cervix and everything is so far back that he's so far forward this time. That was kind of fun, too. So, my little man, it's so true, though. I mean, like, I've had two other pregnancies, and this one is completely different. It's, um, he's sitting completely different. I look different. All of the maternity clothes I saved so like, I, no pretty person is going to get my maternity clothes. I'm going to save them for myself. None of them fit. I am not even kidding you. Like, what I was wearing last time, first of all, it was a different season because this one's going to be born in April and the other one was born in August. Um, but I'm a totally different size. I'm actually, like, too big for my maternity pants that I wore last time. I'm jumping from medium to a large. And it's just, again, just because, like, my abdomen is so stretched out. It's like the low-rise jeans and everything that I wear aren't even low enough to go underneath where I need them to go. So that's different. And, um, <laughs> I know I'm going to stop this video and think, oh, I should have said something else, but I'll just make this faster. Um, so we'll be doing the video for, I'll be doing my next week's video probably in the nursery. There won't be a lot of updates or different things in there, but the color will be kind of fun to show you. So, anyways, I hope you guys all had a really great Christmas, and I will be back after New Year's. No appointments this week, nothing really important um, going on, but we'll probably be doing some shopping. So, I think I'll do a baby haul video next week as part of my video, because we're going to Minneapolis, which is about three hours from here, and, um going to do some baby shopping for the new year so that is the plan and i will check in with you guys after the new year so have a great weekend